Is there any way to salvage it? Um. Roll an insight on that. Oh, actually decent. You believe you might be able to salvage it starting back at the very beginning. Um, You'll have to go through pretty much the entire process again, like superheat the entire thing and mix it together well. It might, and if it works properly, you should be able to salvage it. If it backfires, it might literally explode in your face, though. Risking it. All right, go ahead, roll two more alchemist checks. Gotta get that biscuit. Better. Uh, it's gonna average to just what you need. Yeah. All right. And going through this time, oh. and you're going through, and you're just risking this very carefully, and like you feel yourself on the edge of what you need as you mix this together, and you kind of just hold your breath as you mix these two parts together again, and it kind of looks almost the same. And then the uh, potion just kind of starts bubbling a bit if it's going to pop. And it does pop slightly. And you kind of shield away, trying to shield yourself from like some big explosion or whatever. Nothing really happens. And as you look back, you see that the two various mixtures together are sort of mixing together in a rather grotesque um, manner. It's like, it doesn't like not so much grotesque as like fearsome manner, as it's just like the two different parts are fighting each other for control. And. Almost it looks like this is intentional in how it's supposed to work. Hmm. You're playing you're God. Like, I meant to do this. Against each other. I meant to do this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll bottle it, put it down as fierce potion. All right. <laughs> and again, and then I'll do a quick exactly taste sure to see if it's what a... this does yet. She's like, I'm not gonna give it. To, I'm not gonna take it. No, I'm afraid to. She's gonna alone. give it to Lily to taste. Probably. <clears throat> I said she'll taste it, but yeah. So the taste <laughs> test of it. Yeah. The taste test of this, you feel as though when you taste it, you yourself are more fearsome than you were before, and you feel like if you were to direct your attention against. Something within your sight, you might be able to invoke a fearful response in them. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, she's still keeping it in her pack right now. All right. Which I couldn't find that rubbing alcohol smell <laughs> bugging me. All right. Taking the arcanomites and stuff. Uh, I think Lily was taking the arcanomites and stuff. Because mm -hmm. I was busy with the potion. That probably took about half the day. Yeah, it was going to take a little while between the first failed mixture and then the uh, <coughs> salvaging part. Yeah. All right. So, Lily taking the arcanomites and the Thunderbird Talon and... Is there else? Uh, let me see. We got the Thunderbird Talons. We have three of those. We have Thunderbird Feathers. Uh... We have Clockwork Spider, Arcanamites, Amber Stones, uh, which probably we just need to identify what they are. Um, amber Stones. Yeah, we have four Amber Stones. I'm uh, pretty sure for a while we've identified those already. Uh, yeah. Oh, um, no, um, they're not Amber Stones. They're just Ambers. They're actual gems. Okay. Yeah, unless they popped up as magic, they're magic. No, yeah, they're a, they're actually gems. I figured that they were gems, but oh crap! Uh, where'd it go? Anyways, um, <laughs> I just hit the button to edit it, and it disappeared on me. Anyways, uh, I'm going to take those items and um, and look into what I can do with them uh, with Arashi. All right. And you'll take them to him and kind of just ask him and question him on various things. And he'll look over the various things, starting in order with the uh, Thunderbird stuff. So the feathers himself, he'll look over them, he'll kind of nod as he touches them. You can kind of almost see like um, a spark of static electricity following his finger as he goes across. And he'll kind of nod. My, these are quite interesting. A bird who is basically a creature of lightning. I've seen one of these before. Quite you have? 
Yes, they used to be more common back where I lived. Well, I've never seen one of those before, but uh, I wouldn't expect to. Um, what do you think we can do with it as far as, you know, maybe making armor or weaponry out of it? Well, the feathers themselves would probably be best used as some sort of charm, though I feel you'd be best if you could make some sort of a cloak or whatever with the feathers in it. You could probably imbue the lightning-catching effects or maybe even some sort of reaction if struck for the static electricity to hit whoever attacked you. That sounds interesting. Uh, we also wanted to maybe make some uh, some claws for Azul out of these uh, talons. What do you think about that? Claws for Azul out of the talons? And he'll kind of pull out the three talons you set out for him and he'll kind of look them over. Yes, that I believe would be quite doable. Use all three of these talons. Could make one rather strong talon that she would be able to use. Mm. Oh, but fun. Yes, and you said that this is what you would wish to do for it? Um, a while ago, we had, we had talked about having uh, testing one out as like a short sword or something for someone and then using two for a claw. Mm. Uh, this is out of character. Yeah. Mm. Uh, dagger, a short sword. Yeah, dagger or something. Because I believe we determined it would be too short for a short sword. Yeah, it'd been just slightly too short. After everything, you have to file down and etc. Mm hmm. <clears throat> so, your decision, like the group's decision then, was to try to make one of the claws and go from there? Uh, well, the, the decision was to try to take one of those claws and make, make a dagger out of it, and then to take the other one and make claws for uh, Azul. Yeah, and, and you know, Azul could use daggers just as well as Azul could use claws. You no, know, it's right. Yeah, but uh, if you get two weapons out of it, someone else could take the dagger, like Mara, for close range. Yeah, yeah but if we get three weapons out of it, we also get one like Chase. Chase know. is probably never going to come with you. Yeah, well, it's an example. Probably, I don't know yet. Um, and it kind of like, mm. I think, I think uh, our our intent was to try to get something better out of the dagger, and then something not as yeah. awesome out of the claws. I'm not sure. I don't remember. <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah, yeah we got that over. It's been a while, even yeah. without the skip week. Yeah. Yeah. It's... Um. Let's, uh, does, does Rashi know whereabouts what we could make out of it? Uh, like how, how potent, how good it would be? You know, kind of like looking over the dagger, he'll make the comment. Well, as far as the dagger is concerned, I could see, I could see it being, uh, it's a similar concept to, are you familiar with the, um, it's been in various books. Here's a wield a sword known as a firebrand. Um... You mean that's not what we I've have got? A uh, your, your weapon is not a firebrand. Your weapon oh, we was a, a very, brand. very weak version, similar to it, but it is not it. Well, we've got we've got like a a thunder brand or something. Oh, we that actually do have a thunder this brand. This would be a similar concept. The blade itself would course with electricity, and it would allow you to strike and. Hmm, actually, yes. You would be able to strike with it, and, well, it wouldn't exactly have an extra damage effect on it. <clears throat> an extra damage effect on it, such as electricity coursing from it to the foe. The electricity from it would allow you to go faster. In layman's turns, it would allow you to cast haste, like, on, haste on yourself once per... Let's say a short rest and then I regret it. So we're giving this 10 i like to throw that out to everyone. Whoa, we uh, are going to make daggers of haste, and we're giving it 10 PCs. 
uh, can, can the 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 claws of haste or whatever? Um, how, how? What does haste do in this regard? Is it an extra haste attack? Haste is an extra action, which can only be used for a single attack. Dash. A dash. Or let me. I'm actually reading up haste right now. It also gives like extra AC, I believe. Haste is plus two bonus to AC, advantage on deck saving throws, an additional action to take on its turn. This action can only be used to at use the attack option, one weapon attack only. Dash, disengage, hide, or use an object action. And when the spell ends, the target cannot move or take any actions until the next turn as just a wave of lethargy sweeps over it. That actually sounds really good for Azul, guys. Like, yeah, I, like I, I think that would be good for her to have it. I don't think it would be good for the rest of us to have it. Yeah. Yeah, it's not, like, super beneficial for any of the, um... <sighs> I mean, they, theoretically, they, they, I could cast Haste on the on the and daggers? use like, a different that's weapon. That's a, you would have to have it wielded as well. Yeah, so so it's no and good it's for anyone be, aside from... He's going to explain this well. It's going to have to be something you're going to have to be physically attuned to. Yeah, I think I think it is. Mm. It required that that we don't make the dagger to make that kind of an effect. Like, would a dagger work in the same way? Because we might be able to give it to Mara and give her like a haste close range weapon in case something does. Well, get if I range. might, if I might, I'd say give one to the NPCs. If we do daggers with the same effect, Good why don't we though, hold it's on? It's just going to be a dagger, otherwise. What do you mean it's just going to be a dagger? No plus it's going to be one. a magical dagger, granted, but it's going to have no pluses on it. It's just going to have the haste mm -hmm. as a secondary effect. So only two classes are going to make use of it properly. That's going to be Monk and Rogue. And, and uh, Mara is going to use it once and then back away. You know, she's not going to be right in their face, so she's not going to get much use out of out of this particular weapon. Uh, Casty might get some use out of it, but as a dagger, it's not much better than okay. the Now, what I was going to say, if, if we do three daggers with those claws, well, I mean, with those talons, we can always hold on to one in case we encounter someone who could use it later as well. Uh, Lily's going to ask, what kind of what kind of uh, decrease would it be if we made three weapons out of it? Would we get the same effects? And you look at it. You have three claws. So a dagger only requires... Yeah, claws, talents, whatever. So you have three talents. A dagger would only require one of the talents, leaving two others. If you wish to really make a claw, I would need two of the talents together to make it. And would you gain any additional effects by binding two together? The claw would be much more effective than the dagger would be. It would be more powerful and would actually have magical effect to it. Beyond just the the lightning coursing through you, making you act faster. Yeah, so it sounds like we should make a claw and a dagger. Yeah, yeah I, don't know. I don't really have a say in this. I'm just throwing out my opinion. Well, we, we still have two weapons, and Mara isn't going to use the dagger very much, so we can give it to someone else if we find them still. Um, but I feel like... Uh, giving the bonus of damage to Azul, or bonus effect, whatever it is, would be better. Because it's going to be used all the time. And See, adding, adding one more attack to her already massive amounts of attacks is going to be amazing. That's, that's definitely built for a monk. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to do uh, the claw and the dagger. All right, so claw and the dagger. Very well. This will cost some amount of money. I, hmm. Unfortunately, won't be able to tell you until the job is done because I don't know what materials I'll need until I'm going through. Can I help and make it easier? You may, yes. Oh. Though, it might be better if you spend the time preparing for your own things. I don't have much else to do. Maybe buy a couple of potions. So. Fair enough. Fair enough. Besides, I, I feel like. It's been a long time away from a forge. I really feel like I ought to get some more crafting in. <clears throat> you know how it gets. Yes, of course. All right, so... Uh, 
Does he have an estimate on how much? Like, is it going to be a hundred, a thousand, ten thousand? It's going to be like for materials. He's going to say, and like with you aiding, obviously, he's going to make the comment that for this particular item, he gets the feeling it's going to cost somewhere in the area of two thousand, maybe not two thousand, fifteen hundred gold pieces. Okay. Oh, our money. And that would cost it for both of them, granted. Oh, combined. Okay. Yeah, we've I've got plenty of money in my own inventory for that. Um, all right. So let's go ahead. Let's do it. The Arcanamites. And you still have the Arcanamites. Oh, yeah. The, the Arcanamites. Uh, Lily, Lily is going to show those to him as well. And the... Uh, let's see. We've got yeah, the a glow shroom, still, clockwork glow shroom. spiders, and glow shroom. Arcanamites. I mean, glow shroom, I feel uh, like, would be more... That's going to be more like what um, Alana would be messing with in uh, potions. Yeah. Um, yeah the Arcanamites. I'm going to look at the Clockwork Spider first because he's going to like poke it over intently. Oh, this is a rather interesting piece of machinery. Like, why did you bring this? Or where did you get this? Uh, well, on our on our trip that we just came. Pokes at it at little points. And even going around the points that are damaged, you kind of see that he's like, looking at it. He doesn't seem too impressed with the craftsmanship. Do you think you can do anything with it? Hmm. I could probably repair it to get it working again and maybe change whatever it might see as its master, but beyond that, I'm not sure what I could do to benefit you. Do you don't think we could capture any of its essence in, a, in the, any armor or weaponry or anything? Hmm. It doesn't quite work like that, I do not believe, so I don't think I could. Well, worth a shot at least. Uh, you know what? How about this? How about this? You have been really helpful for us. Um, why don't you take this, and and you can use it for your own whims and consider it a gift. You know, kind of not. Ah, oh, thank you very much. And he'll take the uh, clockwork spider and he'll set it on the on the table next to what you recognize as the replica of one of the apparatus's legs. Seems like a, a good thing to do. Anyways, uh, and, and the Arcanamites? The Arcanamites. And with that done, you show him the Arcanamites, and as he looks over those, oh, these are interesting little things. I haven't seen these things since that infestation in the library. Do Libraries. we even want to know? It was, well, let's just say that it's a good thing the books do not burn. Why don't why don't the books? Anyways, that's not important. Why? Uh, <laughs> what do you think we can do with them? I would like to point out that was Lily's concern. Not my people were drained completely dry by these things. <laughs> no, she's just confused. <laughs> um, what I could do with them? Well, these are four rather well, re um, well retrieved corpses. I might actually be able to see these things. I'm not actually that good with jewelry, though. A proper jeweler might be able to fashion this into some sort of like a ring of spell stealing. Uh, perhaps something that you could use to counterspell some sort of mage that is trying to attack you. I wonder if we could find someone with such skills, perhaps a uh, another fox girl or something. <laughs> You'd have to look for that. <laughs> well, I don't. I don't think you get the joke, Earth. But yeah. <laughs> oh, I just. I. I just know. No. Silver's weakness for Fox Girl. It's my tails. character in his game. I don't know. Yeah. Has jewelry. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. So uh, there's nothing he thinks that he can do with it. Nothing he feels that he could particularly do with it. He he claims to be much better at working with metal than jewelry and such. And like, well, he can make metal look gorgeous if he act if he tries. Jewels are a different material entirely. And roll an insight. I'll roll an insight for you if you wish. Please. Uh, there's Lily. Skills insight. 
you get the feeling that he just does not want to have anything to do with Arcanamites. It's not so much that he isn't that good with jewelry, he just doesn't want to have anything to do with Arcanamites. What he's not saying is he's one who is responsible for that library incident. <coughs> Does okay, he know you wanna, of any... You want a good um, comparison about this? If any of you've read Manly Guys doing Manly Things, the episode I've was... Read... Or the part Commander Badass re um, remembering his time on the Millipede planet in Millipede season. Hmm. That's basically his view of the Arcanamites. Hell... Uh, does he know anyone who can do anything with uh, jewelry in nearby towns? He would suggest that you probably go look at Northbridge if you wanted to do that. Okay, so that should probably be on our list somewhere. And I just checked something off the list, so that's good. <laughs> we have a list? <laughs> we have a yes. list. I mean, we have a list of things we need to do, what? You're expecting Jeeves to not to keep a list. I have a mental list. I haven't actually written anything down. He'll be out of character. All right. And anything else, or do you want him to start working on the uh, the claw and the? Uh, let's start working on that. All right. So for visual reference, if of you have played Fallout Four, it's a death claw gauntlet. That's essentially what it's going to look like. Oh man, I thought it might have been like a rust room or something. Oh no, it's essentially going to look kind of like a Deathclaw Gauntlet by the time it's all said and done. Eh, that game is, it, uh, is it purple as well? Nah, it's going to be more of a um, yellowish and whitish and a little like strings of like a strand of blue at points. And this counts as a monk weapon, right? I'm going to say it counts as a monk weapon because it's, it's a claw on the hand that's basically unarmed. Yep, yeah, okay. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> yeah, like, I really just want to make sure, but it's like it's a freaking claw that goes on your hand that's freaking unarmed in my view. Yep. <laughs> also, sorry if I'm kind of spacing more than usual. Half the time you guys suddenly go robot and I can't catch anything you're saying, too. So. Yeah, you, you're, you're having some weird audio glitches as yeah. well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah right. it's definitely. All right, so the two of you are going to go through working on that. Um, I'm just going to take care of this for, it's going to be like the next two days, three days, whatever. So, Lily, go ahead and roll some smithing checks. I'm going to have Arashi roll some as well. Roll three. Uh, smithing, smithing, smithing. Roll 30. Mm -hmm. uh, well. Okay. Oh, okay. I want a bad one. <laughs> you got one bad one, yes. You got two other good ones. Let's see how Arashi compared to that smithing was. I would have given him a proficiency with that. Yes, I would have. Uh, no, the smith isn't proficient in smithing. What are you nah, talking about? Nah, nah of course not. Really? I got actually, nah, I didn't do that. So yeah, he did amazingly as well, actually. <laughs> he didn't roll a natural one. He rolled several ones, four of them to be exact, but didn't roll a natural one. So it's it's more of him helping Lily than Lily helping him. Lily started out really strong but ended a little weak. He was kind of the same, but he was Consistent. more level overall, and he's just more experienced with this. All right, um, and like the week goes on, the first thing you take care of is the dagger because that's the easiest thing to do, and it's not quite smithing per se, because you're more just kind of like whittling the claw down into like a more of a dagger shape. You do spend some time um, getting a metal point to attach around the edge of the dagger so it actually does have an edge, which could be sharpened and even replaced as time needs. Um, you make a hilt for it as well. That's relatively easy to do. It's taken care of without too much trouble. Like, wrap the hilt, um, the hilt of the dagger up, everything. You have that finished, the dagger of haste. And then you move on to the claws, and the claws are much more interesting to work on because that's a matter of you make you have to make a frame for it to hold it together um handle to hold on it goes like looking at the thing as a whole is when it's finished it looks like the holder itself would go up almost to the elbow and then like the claws probably stick out a good six inches past where the like fist would close so this is a nice big weapon by the time it's all said and done. And you're both able to make it without any trouble whatsoever. And 
when you're both finished and you both have them set out on the table and you nod at the um, time to be done, for all the materials you went through, it was, yeah, what he said, basically. Actually, it was a little, yeah, it was like what he said, pretty much. It was uh, 1500 I believe, is what I said. Yeah. Okay. So that was the cost to make both of these materials. Uh, the daggers, of and course, magical. Well, it was going to take that directly out of her own uh, pay, so... Yeah, and as um, for the actual stats, because I'm going to write this in my own thing, so I'm going to have the haste dagger. And the haste dagger's effect, it is magical, has no pluses, and it allows haste to be cast once. Do I want to make it long rest or short rest? I need to... I'm like going to... I, I feel like it's a long rest thing. I'm going to double check something, though. Where is not cursed magical items? Here it is. It's this I want to look at. It's gla lightning glaive. Is haste short or long rest? Huh. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to go with short rest. All right, cool. Not complaining. <laughs> yeah, like, the, the item I'm referencing for reference is it's a glaive that is a plus one glaive that can do the same effect. Haste in yourself. Only on yourself, um, once per a short or long rest. So, yep. Cast. Whoop. That's not what I 